and we're going to have so many people jumping right in front of us. We'll be able to stream that so you guys can see what's happening. Right now, I have with me someone very important to us, uh, Mr. Gary Gregory. He is with the Medicine Park Merchants. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I'm so glad the weather turned out this morning. It was a little sketchy. It was drizzly and cold. <laughs> it it's gotten was. better. Yes. And the sun came out for just a little bit. Now, you know, clouds came back, but that's okay because it's still pretty, pretty nice. And I hear you got talked into jumping today. I did. My daughter decided that she wants to jump. Oh, yeah. And she likes the cold, so it's perfect. Wow. Yeah. That is somebody I've not heard of before. Somebody who actually likes the cold she in Oklahoma. Does. <laughs> well, uh, so I mentioned the Medicine Park Merchants. Can you tell us more about some of them and some of, uh, you know, the community members here that help make the plunge happen? Sure. Uh, about five years ago, 2015, we started the Discover Medicine Park Oklahoma page. Okay. And that was designed to uh, attract people to the town, let them know that we're here. But we didn't have a sign on the highway. Yeah. And there was some vacancy. So uh, we, we got 31,000 followers, uh, a million and a half unique individual views uh, or viewers. And with that audience, they came, they spent their money, they came to our free festivals. And the merchants thrived. We opened seven stores in a day. That's amazing. Everything filled. And wow. now we're building seven more. Uh, we have two new restaurants coming. Yes. So uh, very exciting things happening. You it have to is. follow the page. For sure. And that's Discover Medicine Park Oklahoma Facebook page, right? Exactly. Gotcha. I, I'm so excited to see you guys jump. Wait, are you jumping or is it just your daughter? I'm jumping. Oh, man, yeah. you both get to get in. Well, I'm excited to see that. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for you guys. I'm hoping that, you know, with so many people coming to Medicine Park, more people are going to hear about it. I've been told before that Medicine Park's still up and rising and really getting out there, and we're hoping to branch out towards other communities like Oklahoma City, even Chickasha. Are there any other areas you're hoping to get towards? Uh, you know, we have people that come from Germany. We wow. have people from all over Europe. Uh, we have people from Asia. It's really getting to be a well-known part of Oklahoma. Uh, there's a book called The American Serengeti. Yeah. And with the mountains, the buffalo, the longhorns, the Indian culture that's here, uh, it's, it's a very important part of Oklahoma that many people haven't been aware of. Wow, that is so cool. And you know what? That's a really big thing that people really need to be aware about this. Mm -hmm. And not just the plunge. I mean, we have so many other different festivals throughout the year. Um, I'm, I'm just excited for this one in particular, honestly. Right. <laughs> well, um, if you guys can, please go to their Facebook page, Discover Medicine Park, Oklahoma. Give them a thumbs up. They share all kinds of events of things going on. Do you have anything uh, coming up soon that you want to share? Well, we have Park Stomp coming up, and our music festivals are free. Uh, we love it when you support our merchants. Our merchants are how we do the free events like this, Park Stomp, the Rock in the Park at the 4th of July, which is our birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. It is. Uh, 1908, July the 4th. Wow. Is that where 1908 Emporium came came from? That is exactly right. I and see. Oh, it's making connections born, now. <laughs> born on the 4th of July. That is so cool. Fourth of July is a big day for everybody. It is. <laughs> and you'll find a lot of flags around here, too. <laughs> I believe that. Well, thank you guys so much. We will be right back. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be able to keep streaming the plunge all the way up until when everybody jumps in on Oklahoma Life TV. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home, or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider. Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www. 
Cameron.edu. It's a calling that's kept us free. It's a place to belong. What's the calling? It's doing a job that makes a difference. Serving your community and your country. It's part-time service where the impact is full-time. What's your calling? Air Force Reserve. Becker Raybon Funeral Home has been serving the funeral needs of Southwest Oklahoma since 1940 and is owned by the Raybon family. We believe family ownership makes a great difference in the care and service your family receives. Their staff is eager to find ways to assist you. Whether it's with live streaming or benefit assistance, we can help. When it comes to measuring personal levels of service, there are other funeral homes, and then there is ours. Becker Raybon Funeral Home, 1502 Fort Sill Boulevard. Welcome back to Oklahoma Life TV. We are here at the Medicine Park Polar Plunge. And man, it's a beautiful day to be out here. And I'm not one of the brave people to go into the water. I'm not going to lie. Cold is not my thing. That's kind of why I moved to Oklahoma. Oh, no, I was born here. But, <laughs> but it's something I've always enjoyed. Um, I'm going to admire some of the people who are jumping in, um, especially people who are doing it for a specific cause this year. It's pretty interesting to see. Um, do you have any causes you're doing it for? Well, obviously... Uh, the merchants are near and dear to my heart yes. in this town, and we have so many great merchants. Uh, it's not just on East Lake Drive, but also up around on East Lake Drive on Cobblestone Hill. That's where the business is starting. Yes. So we have everything from a Napa-style olive oil store okay. with rubs and vinegars and balsamics and that sort of thing. And now it's new, too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Medicine yes. Creek Olive Oil. That's one of our seven that opened uh, we also have Up the Creek Spirits. So on a day like today, you may need Up the Creek Spirits. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why a lot of people are starting at the Park Tavern today, too. Huh? Yeah, the peppermint schnapps is popular. So. <laughs> See. Um, so what about some other, you know, if people aren't just here for the plunge and they want to come maybe for the Roots Ball or the Blues Festival and things like that, what other merchants might be available to them during that time? Well, of course, we have great restaurants. We have the Old Plantation, yes, uh, which has been here for a very long time. A great history, a two-story cobblestone building that was has been, over, through its history, been a hotel. Wow. Uh, it's had a little bit of a shady history at times. <laughs> I see. Uh, but right now, it's just a, a great restaurant with terrific food, some of the best in the area. That's awesome. So, always recommend the Old Plantation. Then, Riverside Grill, mm -hmm. a wonderful place. Yes. Uh, sandwiches, more of an American grill feel to it. I got gotcha. you. Uh, we have, of course, Small Mountain Street Tacos. Yes. They, and I love what they did with the scenery. I mean, oh, yeah. from a couple of years ago, it was pretty small, and then they just expanded, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. Now, up on 49, which is just a few blocks away from downtown, okay. and looking over the town, we have a new restaurant that's coming called Chad's El Sabores. Really? It's a Mexican restaurant, a Mexican-style restaurant with a Medicine Park feel. And that should be open soon, so watch out for that one. That is so cool. I'm hoping they build it sort of out of the um, the rocks that they've been using all throughout Medicine Park. Kind of what Medicine Park's known for. Do you know what I'm talking about? Little yeah. boulders? <laughs> well, th well, that one is actually built, and it's it has a, a great feel to it. Open windows with views of the mountains. Wow. So behind the bar, you have windows that just frame the mountains, and it's incredible. That is something um, you definitely can't pay enough for, I'm sure, just the, that kind of view. Yeah, we're the closest mountains to Dallas, so we see a lot of Texas people, too. That's awesome. Uh, so the restaurants are great. Yes. And, of course, Miss Chadwick's Bakery. Uh, you know, I've been there. You can tell by looking at me. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a popular place. And uh, then we have a toy store which is a rare thing for any town nowadays. Yes. Uh, we have Discovery Outpost. Uh, they have vintage toys, games, yes. uh, books, a great book collection, very educational, and they do a lot of events for children. So That's awesome. Yeah, watch our events page. That is cool. And I, I know there's another place um, here in town called Base Camp, and I believe the mayor is the one who owns that. Am I, am I wrong? Uh, the right? mayor's mayor and her husband, and, um, and Base Camp 
they're the friendliest guys in town. Uh, Chad and Mark, if you see guys on bicycles that w- ride past you and wave, that's Chad and Mark. Aww, yeah. I'm glad they're known for something like that. Yeah, and you're always welcome around the fire. They always have a fire, and there's generally a cooler full of adult beverages somewhere around. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. So, um, the the White Buffalo Trading Post yes. is an amazing place. They play music. It has a feel of, you know, that Native Heart, Western feel. And they play old black and white movies uh, while you're shopping. So, you can watch some cowboy movies while you're there. That is so neat. And definitely something you don't see around here very often. No. No. You really don't. <laughs> uh, so, that's a unique experience. Uh, the kids love it. Uh, adults love it and there's great art so i highly recommend that oh man there's art all over the place in medicine park it's beautiful really there is and if you drive around you'll see sculptures of buffalo and elk and mountain lions and everything around town so keep your eyes peeled for those for sure and if i really hope you guys can come and actually be a part of the plunge be one of the jumpers be one of the very many observers we already have people lining up to watch all the brave ones going in for the cold um uh, if you can't be a part of this you can always watch our stream we're not only streaming on our facebook page but also on the discover medicine park oklahoma facebook page as well and i believe we are also on the oklahoma sports network page streaming there so if you guys I mean, you have plenty of options to see where we're streaming this event, and hopefully you're going to come back to Oklahoma Life TV. We'll be back right after this on Oklahoma Life TV. Our sign company has been serving Oklahoma and surrounding states for over 60 years. As a family-owned business, our focus has always been on driving people to your door, not just selling you a sign. From custom sign design and manufacturing to installation and service, AeroSign has the knowledge and experience to deliver the ideal sign for you while using materials of the highest quality to ensure that your sign will look great for years and years to come. We design and manufacture our signs for longevity so you get the greatest return on investment possible. AeroSign Company, helping your business thrive since 1955. Feet. We use them every day, working, playing, and usually taking them for granted. If your feet hurt, see the professionals at Southwest Foot and Ankle Clinic. They've been serving Southwest Oklahoma for the past 36 years, providing the highest quality care and combining the latest technology with old-fashioned Oklahoma compassion. With three locations to serve you, Lawton, Duncan, and Altus. Call today or visit us online at swokfoot.com. Wow, that was fast, Mark. Your house is sold already? Yep. Seems like I just signed the listing paperwork. Now it's a done deal. I told you that listing with Pam and Barry's team at Remax would cause your house to sell. I know. I should have listened to you earlier. Listed with Pam and Barry on day one. <laughs> Pam and Barry's team has a proven marketing system that will sell your home fast and for top dollar. Call 248-8800. Want to take the stress out of your next remodel or building project? Comanche Home Center can deliver all the lumber, supplies, and tools right to you. When you're done, they'll pick up anything you don't use and give you credit towards your next project. Give Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. Here at Carpet One, we have a great selection of carpet, hardwood, vinyl, tile, laminate, and area rugs. With all this, you're sure to find exactly what you want for your home. Come browse our exclusive selection or give Carpet One at Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider.
back on Oklahoma Life TV in Medicine Park, Oklahoma, part of the 23rd annual Polar Plunge, which is actually going to get set at about 2 o'clock. We want to thank our fine sponsors to, to make this possible. We'll start off with Nice Ice Baby. Adult beverages to go, your own frozen delight, over 45 flavors of 21 different types of drinks to be exact. It's also a hot spot for unique local events, so make sure you plan on it. Nice ice baby. Also, we want to thank Extreme Pressure Washing, Enhancing Community Curb Appeal, one property at a time. Also offers washing for oil companies, belly dump trucks, over-the-road trucks, just to name a few. They travel from Laudan to Edmond and all around the surrounding area. So why don't you give them a call today? Then right up the street where all of this is going to start is the Park Tavern, the one and only, offering live and local music Thursday through Sundays, an indoor and outdoor venue, and the place to make uh, memories. And Hillary Communications, uh, you just write down, the road, they're going to have a, a huge monstrosity of a uh, capital office, we'll say, out of, <laughs> out of uh, you know, coming out to Medicine Park. Hillary Communications with over 60 years of experience providing high-speed Internet throughout Oklahoma and Texas, Hillary Communications. Also, we want to thank our fine sponsors to make this thing possible, like our Hop and Sack for a Morrison Lawn Care, Redbone. Redbone Tacos actually has a, a truck that I noticed uh, yes. on the way in. Trivet's Family Restaurant in Elgin. Of course, uh, that's all you can eat, uh, catfish on Friday, so you want to make a, take advantage of that. And then we also want to thank uh, Boom Paws Burgers. Uh, yeah, it's just right out in Elgin. It's a stop right there. Ann's Country Kitchen. If you're ever going to be close to the lake, it's going to be Ann's. Nacho Mama's, Southwest Veterinary Clinic, All-American Bank. And also, you can tell me a little bit about, about Woven by Grace. Yeah, Woven some... by Grace is a beautiful boutique right there in Elgin. Um, it's along on the highway. When you come right in, it's right across the uh, gas station in that new little strip that they had set up. Um, it's beautiful. It's so clean. And it's where you are beautiful. That's what they tell everybody who walks in. You are beautiful. Now, you're looking at the screen. We have several that have lined up. Now, these are the people that are I'm taking it are not going in. Okay? <laughs> yes. So these are what we call spectators of this wonderful sport. Uh, we talked, uh, you had a great conversation with our, our visiting Santa Claus, who when you see those still pictures, in fact, I think I can bring that up again. We can show for the opening uh, shot that we had. This is the shot that you're most familiar with, is you see Santa right there. Oh, yeah. You, you had that great interview with Santa yes. uh, talking about how this all started. So kind of tell us a bit about uh, 23 years ago in the making. It started with some some guys in Russia <laughs> to actually jump in, uh, in in this frigid water. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Santa and I were talking, and Santa said that he was down there at the Park Tavern, and they were sitting around um, trying to figure out, you know, January, uh, February, because of the cold, and, and, you know, Medicine Park's an outdoor venue. So a lot of things were kind of slowing down around that time, and they were like, man, what can we do to get business out here, to get people out here, because it's too beautiful to miss out out on even when it is a little chilly and Santa said well they were inspired by the Russians jumping into the cold water and they decided well why don't we do that so they started this 23 years ago and it's been going on and getting bigger every year ever since now I got to tell you and, and this is going to be uh, a personal revelation <laughs> I actually did a before they called it a polar plunge uh -huh. but I'll, I'll tell you the circumstances I'm originally from upper Michigan so okay. we're used to winters and ice and snow and cold and so what had happened was uh, we were at a camp retreat and it was winter time and they cut a hole in the ice so I mean it's oh. like all snow and ice and, and there's no water to plunge into it's just a a frozen section that has been opened up where you would you know Ooh. if you go ice fishing and stuff like this it was a closer it's not a, it's not when you jump in you go you know below your your head you don't go head head under you actually go waist up okay so you start with a sauna now they don't have a sauna here and that's where i would have started <laughs> you start with a sauna you go and you make your plunge and you go straight back up now swedish and it's a swedish tradition for okay. those in the sauna they would actually get in the snow they'd roll in the snow and they'd get little little um tree limbs a little small little ass and it's supposed to just gently strike the body to get the blood flow i mean wow. you're not whipping people i mean you know you you get young kids and it's okay it's an attack of the sword you know it's not really that but that's really the premise behind it kind of get that cleansing the body all the rest of that kind of stuff right. that they talk about so i just i was 18 years old mm -hmm. i'm not going to reveal how old i am now but that's many years <laughs> in the rear view mirror and i decided okay i'm going to do this once and by the way i only did this once oh and uh yeah. you know it was winter time so it was snow and ice i don't know what the regular temperature was but went straight from the sauna went straight in and i just remember the shock, 
value to your system. I mean, it really wakes you up. And Santa says that. And he says, it'll get your heart going, and you'll be good for the rest of the year. You won't even have to go see a doctor. I mean, just cause <laughs> it just gets it all cleansed out. So, you know, basically it was uh, – it was young and dumb <laughs> at that time. I'm a little bit more wise. Gotcha. I am going to be a great spectator. I was seeing Mark Erickson up here, uh, kind of a local favorite, and I asked him <laughs> if Mark was going to go in. He goes, no, he's, he's got other ways to take thrills at his age you know, than, than this. <laughs> I see. Uh, but, you know, we, we met young, a young individual. We were hoping that maybe he'll come back up because we wanted to interview him. Yes, this is his first year. His first year, his family came up from Muskogee, yeah. and it was by design for this. Now, I don't know how the young man is. He looked about maybe 12 or 13 maybe 13, something like that yeah. 13 14 years old and and just enough to say okay i want to be adventurous so they loaded up in the car from muskogee oklahoma to come back over here <laughs> Uh, to do the polar plunge. So, you know, you can see why it's 23 years in the making. And, and I was really kind of nervous. And you got some people in costume, and that's talked about that too. Oh, We're going to yes. have to get her on camera. It becomes who can outdo who in costumes. <laughs> and yep. so uh, we showed a little bit of that in our in our display. We're just so glad to be a part of, with OSN Enterprises, with the Oklahoma Sports Network, to branch out with Oklahoma Life TV. And if you'd like for us to uh, be at your featured event, Make sure you contact da Danny. She can get uh, you know all of the ins and outs for that. Absolutely. And hopefully we'll get some more individuals that we can talk to. We're supposed to get to the mayor as well, yes. uh, the mayor of Medicine Park, and uh, we'll do all that. We'll take another break and be back right after this on Oklahoma Life TV. Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. It's a calling that's kept us free. It's a place to belong. What's the calling? It's doing a job that makes a difference. Serving your community and your country. It's part-time service where the impact is full-time. What's your calling? Air Force Reserve. Becker Raybon Funeral Home has been serving the funeral needs of Southwest Oklahoma since 1940 and is owned by the Raybon family. We believe family ownership makes a great difference in the care and service your family receives. Their staff is eager to find ways to assist you. Whether it's with live streaming or benefit assistance, we can help. When it comes to measuring personal levels of service, there are other funeral homes, and then there is ours. Becker Raybon Funeral Home, 1502 Fort Sill Boulevard. Hello and welcome back to Oklahoma Live TV. I'm Danny Carson and with me I have one of our very special title sponsors who decided that he wanted to be a part of the Medicine Park Polar Plunge even if he wasn't going to jump in this year. All, he still wanted to have his hands in there. Uh, this is Carlton Robinson with Extreme Pressure Washing. Now can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Uh, yeah, so we just, um, uh, Extreme Pressure Washing, we're really big on enhancing uh, your community's curb appeal, uh, one property at a time. So. What we do is just try to just kill off all the organic growth, like the uh, the greenhouse, the the black mold that can be on your roof, okay. the sidewalk, your your uh, side of your house, uh, any rust removal, all that. So we do some fleet fleet uh, uh, detailing and all that as well. That's awesome. Yeah, so we're, we're a starter company trying to get going. That is so good. Yeah. And I see you brought a guest with yes. us. This is Amaya. It's my right? daughter Amaya. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Seven man. years old. Do you ever take her with you to go oh, pressure washing? Everywhere really? Go, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Do you know how to do you know how to do some of the stuff? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's okay. I'm sure she'll learn eventually. She huh? will, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I'm trying to try to make it a family-owned business, or, you know, oh. trying to make it grow so so she can take over later on. That is awesome. Yeah, trying. And right. you guys are based out of Lawton. Well, I'm based out of Norman, okay. but I'm from Lawton, and okay. uh, I do the Lawton area. I mean, all the surrounding areas: Norman, Edmond, Tulsa. I go out, yeah, I go everywhere. everywhere. So you're willing to just get out there and get oh, yeah. anywhere you need to be, oh, yeah. huh? Oh yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so if 
is, let's say somebody was really needing something done, uh, but they weren't sure, like, the whole process of mm -hmm. it. Maybe you can explain um, the, the rest, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So, so all right. So, when I come out there, when I come out there, of course, I introduce myself to the to the person, and we actually do what we call property protection. So, any little, you know, nicks, nanny, little crack, cracks, whatever, we, we uh, cover them up with, like, tape. Okay. Just, just, just to make sure there's no real damage, you know, the outlets, uh, windows, all that. Now, if you do, we do actually do one of we actually take off the screen so we don't mess up the screen. That's so, you good. Know, don't be responsible for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so so from the roof down, so we'll start with the roof. We just, you know, just put uh, apply, uh, like, water, what we call SH or sodium hypochlorite. Okay. Pretty much like a bleach. Gotcha. But it's really good, especially now with the corona junk going on and all that. Yes. So it's really good with that. Uh, it kills that off, all the organic growth on your roof. And then, um, so that's your roof, and then you your siding. It gets rid of all that black moss that you know that green algae that grows on there the Ooh. yeah all that all that nasty stuff yeah so we get all that and then uh, your, your concrete or your driveway same thing same thing we apply for the roof it's on the on the uh, concrete it's a little lighter of a uh, uh, mixture it's not as strong okay uh, we spray that on there got what we call our people like to call it this was like a surface cleaner oh and, uh, yes yeah, we just uh, uh, clean it up with that and if it's really bad, we'll do what we call a post treatment. Just spray the same thing on there, okay. and then it'll, it'll just kill off anything else that's there. Gotcha. And it's good for like a year. It'll, it'll last. And if um, if if it uh, seems to grow back, we'll come back out and take care of whatever we may have missed. That's so yeah, awesome. No problem, yeah. I'm glad you take care of your clients oh, yeah. and make sure they get the best quality of, the, of the, your work. Yes, ma'am. Um, and I noticed on your Facebook page, you do, uh, what are they called, like time lapses of yeah, like yeah. your whole process? Yeah. Now, they look sped up to it, me. It's definitely sped up. <laughs> okay. not that, I'm not that quite that fast, you gotcha. know, but, uh, but it's, it's uh, so I'm a one-man show right now. So it usually take, like if you do a house wash, about an hour, hour and a half, just depending on how bad it is. Mm -hmm. But um, if you want a full wash from roof to concrete, you probably looking about two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually shorter than what I was thinking oh, it would yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's really good. And as far as like equipment, does it take a ton of stuff to do? No, or? so uh, I had, I just have a trailer. Okay. With a, a buffer tank or a water tank, 250 gallon water tank, and then I got my soap tank and my uh, my uh, bleach tank or my sodium hypochlorite tank. Gotcha. Uh, it's just you know it's just two separate systems on there, and you know pulling out one, I hook up to, hook up my water hose to your house. And then I uh, just spray it down, you know, spray it. You know, it's, it's a, it's, it seems like a lengthy process, but it's really not. Right. You know, it's a right. one-man show could do it, so. That's awesome. And yeah. and is it just you right now? Do you right have now. other employees? Okay. Right now, it's so me. it's just you it out is, there. It is, so it is. you guys need to put this man to work so that way he's got something to do because I yeah. believe you're also in the oil field, I am. too. Yeah, yes, ma'am. I'm wow. in the oil field. I'm trying to, I'm slowly trying. That's why I'm creating this company because I want to get out the oil field and be home more with her. You know, she's want me to be home, you know, all the time now. Absolutely. So, yeah. You are a great excuse to be home. I believe yes, that. Yes, <laughs> yes, Well, you guys, make sure you go on their Facebook page, Extreme. That starts with an X, big mm -hmm. X. I learned that finally. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Extreme Pressure Washing on Facebook. Give them a thumbs up. Make sure you call him yes, for all of your pressure washing needs. And that's just not just buildings. I mean, you said you do. Residential, yes. commercial, fleet wash. Yes, ma'am. And you do also uh, oil Oil what, companies, uh -huh, oil companies, their their trucks, their um, uh, trailers, all that. Yeah, we do a lot. Awesome. So he's got it all. He's just waiting for your call. Come okay. On. So thank you, huge thank you to no, thank Extre you. Extreme Pressure Washing for sponsoring <laughs> our 23rd annual Medicine Park Polar Plunge. This is our first time ever streaming this event on Oklahoma Life TV. Wow, that was fast, Mark. Your house is sold already? Yep. Seems like I just signed the listing paperwork. Now it's a done deal. I told you that listing with Pam and Barry's team at Remax would cause your house to sell. I know. I should have listened to you earlier. Listed with Pam and Barry on day one. <laughs> Pam and Barry's team has a proven marketing system that will sell your home fast and for top dollar. Call 248-8800. Bridges and Buckner Dentistry at 1802 Northwest 52nd Street has over 32 years of combined experience. They serve Southwest Oklahoma for implant placement and final restorations using guided surgery and CEREC technology. This enables them to do same day crowns in the office. Call to set up your appointment today or visit them online at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com.
We're back live at Medicine Park. In fact, we're getting ready for the 23rd Annual Polar Plunge, and we want to thank our fine sponsors that make this possible. Our, we'll start off with just our recent guests from Extreme Pressure Washing, Enhancing Community Curb Appeal, One Property at a Time. That's his slogan. We just uh, had a nice uh, chat with him right up the street. You can get the uh, Park Tavern where you get the parade started here in just a few. The one and only offering live and local music Thursdays through Sundays, an indoor and outdoor venue, and the place to make memories. And uh, she can talk about this a little bit later. Danny got a special guest with Nice Ice Baby. She got some uh, freebies, so adult beverages to go. Your own frozen flavored delight. Over 45 flavors of 21 different types of drinks to be exact. It's also a hot spot for unique local events and also Hillary Communications with over 60 years of experience providing high-speed Internet throughout Oklahoma and Texas. Also want to thank uh, our fine sponsors to make this broadcast possible. It's going to be Hop and Sack, Hop and Sack on Highway 49 for all your convenience needs. Trivets in Elgin for Catfish Fridays. Redbone Indian Tacos, they even have a truck here uh, for today's event. Our food is bad to the bone. Morrison Lawn Care, their work speaks for itself. Base Camp, Kayaks, Trail Bike, and Canoe Rentals. Native Smoke Barbecue, Food Truck Catering and so much more with their special orders. Power equipment, four-wheelers, and lawn care, and Lantanka body as well. So, And then uh, we've also got Boom Paws, which is right over there in Elgin. Southwest Vet, now with laser and ultrasound services. Nacho Mama's Mexican Grill. Our food is Nacho Mama's. Ann's Country Kitchen, home cooking and pies at its finest. All-American Bank, Medicine Park, for all your banking needs. Danny Cooper, Allstate agent in Elgin. Honey Sage Company, Medicine Park's Remedy for Stress, woven by grace. You are beautiful. And these are our fine sponsors to make our broadcast of the 23rd Annual Polar Plunge, which is going to be coming up in about 25 minutes, to be exact. Oh, Danny? Man, it's coming up. I'm super excited. And with me, I actually have one of our, our sponsors that decided to also be a part of the Polar Plunge. I would hope she'd already be a part of it because she is the mayor of Medicine Park. Hello, Miss Ellis. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing today? I am doing awesome. I'm excited to see how many people show up for this event. It looks like we're going to have a lot. Yes, for sure. And so, can you tell us a little bit about Base Camp, first off, because you are one of our sponsors. Um, so, sure. just tell us a little bit about what you guys do. So Base Camp Adventure Outfitters is um, a full service rental. We have, um, uh, my husband Mark actually runs the shop. Okay. And he has um, mountain bike rentals, kayak rentals, stand up paddleboard rentals um, all year long. That's awesome. And so do you know of any specific places that people, if they do go get some of those rentals, where they can go to use them? Right here in Medicine Park. Awesome. We have, um, of course, right in front of you, we yes. have Bath Lake, which is great for paddle boarding. Um, you know, maybe not so much right now. It's a little chilly. <laughs> yeah. um, he'll also shuttle people over to Lake Latonka. Okay. And there's some really cool put-in areas over there. And for people who are a little more experienced and may want to have longer distances, and can do that. And then we have in Medicine Park an amazing, you know, about 25 miles of multi-use trails right here in Medicine Park. Um, it's it, hiking, biking for the for the good bikers. Yes. Pretty technical trails, but uh -huh. we have uh, a lot of areas around here to do that. That is so awesome. I didn't realize you had the actual trails going through Medicine Park. Yep. Um, someone was telling me that see, some of these trails are some of the most difficult to do. If you are an experienced biker, um, you, you're going to have a challenge to go through, right? Absolutely. Very technical trails. Awesome. And um, if I'm not mistaken, your husband is one of the people who actually rides his bike um, up and down <laughs> the street sometimes? Yes, he does. <laughs> they have, they have a... Um, Base Camp has an organized group ride on Saturday mornings that I think they're wrapping up right about now. That's just in time awesome. to come down and jump in the creek. <laughs> that is <laughs> awesome, and it's very convenient, too. Absolutely. Um, so are you are you or Mike going to jump in this year? Um, you know, I am doing my mayoral duties <laughs> right now, so gotcha. it's really important me to, for me to get the big view of yes. the area. So I'm going to not jump this year, and, you know, Mark's got a business up there. He's, it's open for business right now. Absolutely. That's that's awesome. Base yeah. camp is open right now. Yep. So if you guys are here in Medicine Park and you want to go after this and you want to go really get your blood pumping and do something, um, I'm sure you can go visit Base Camp and go get one of those bike rentals. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so talking particularly about the Polar Plunge, <coughs> their 23rd year, um, have any of those years, have you ever jumped in before? Yes. A couple really? of them. A couple of them. But it's, but it's been a while. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
it, the fact that you even did it, I, I've never done it before <laughs> personally. So can you tell us a little bit about like that experience for you? Well, the trick is is to get out of the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say that. But you know, the experiences have been so different. You know, some years it's been 75 degrees when you get out of the water. Some years they've had to break ice wow. before the plunge. Yeah, so the, 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 the experiences that each person has can really vary. I see. <coughs> okay. Well, I'm glad this year we're not having to break ice to yeah. do anything like that. <laughs> it actually warmed up for a little bit. This morning was, I'm not going to lie, I was a little <laughs> little worried about it because of the weather, but it, it turned out way more, way more beautiful outside. Absolutely. Water's still cold, though. Doesn't matter <laughs> if it's 75 outside, the water's still cold. <laughs> I believe that. You know, I kind of think people tell themselves, uh, no, it, it's not that bad. Just to <laughs> trick themselves as they're jumping in. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. And so I guarantee Medicine Park has so many events every year. I've always been um, a part of the festivals because I'm a musician myself. Um, but what are some of the other events that we can look forward to besides just the festivals? Oh, we have Park Stomp that's going to be coming up first. Um, you know, wonderful music events. We have arts events throughout the year. Yes. Our individual businesses will often put on their own events. Okay. So there is always something going on for every type of interest and personality that come, that's in our community. We have um, a car show. Um, so we have a, a taco eating contest oh, coming up. Wow. And those are things that individual businesses work for and promote. So that's there's, awesome. there's a lot of experience to have here. That is so great. And you know, I think one thing people can do if, if you probably want to keep up with any of the events, um, do you, does Medicine Park have its own Facebook page? We have a Facebook page. We have, um, we have a website. Mm -hmm. And then of course, all, most of our individual businesses have Facebook pages or event pages that they start. So, so people have awareness for each event that they're individually holding. That is awesome. And it makes it so convenient for people to be able to just get there, see what's going on, and be a part of it. I guarantee that's one reason why there are so many people already showing up just that's to right. watch this whole thing happen. Yep, that's right. Awesome. It's exciting. It is. It really <laughs> is. Thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Um, do you want to add anything else as far as the Polar Plunge, Base Camp, Medicine Park? You know, it... it with, with the polar bear plunge, I think this is one of the most entertaining spectator sports that you can that you can come to because it really is funny watching everybody in their faces and their expressions. But come to Medicine Park, experience all we have to offer, food, um, events, trails, outdoor, great during a pandemic. Yes, so for sure. We, we just love to have everybody come see us. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I really hope you guys stick around because in just a few short minutes, we're going to get to see the actual plunge happen right here on Oklahoma Life TV. take the stress out of your next remodel or building project? Comanche Home Center can deliver all the lumber, supplies, and tools right to you. When you're done, they'll pick up anything you don't use and give you credit towards your next project. Give Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. Here at Carpet One, we have a great selection of carpet, hardwood, vinyl, tile, laminate, and area rugs. With all this, you're sure to find exactly what you want for your home. Come browse our exclusive selection or give Carpet One at Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider.
Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. Again, it's Danny Carson with Oklahoma Life TV. And for our last guest, hopefully not our very last, because we're hoping to get some other people who actually either before they jump or after they jump, we want us to, uh, we want them to tell us their story about the whole thing, why they did it, how it felt, or are they going to do it again? Um, hopefully that's going to come up very shortly, um, as, as well as the plunge is going to come up very shortly. But before that happens, I do want to introduce my very good friend, Mr. Rodney Whaley. Thank you, Danny, for having me today. Of course. Of course, man, you have been a lifesaver today in the whole <laughs> process of this. I know when we first got here, we had a little bit of trouble with the electricity going on. Uh, but thanks to you and the help of, you know, Roger Johnson and the technician that came out too, you guys yeah. pulled it together. Well, I mean, you know, this, this town's been here for over 100 years and things get put in <laughs> here, there, this, that. And so <laughs> trying to figure out which lamp post goes to which meter and its timers and this and that, it took a little bit of time, but we made it happen, didn't we? <laughs> exactly. Exactly right, and it all takes just a little bit of patience. Yep. Yep. yep, I like it. I like your 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 uh, what is it called? Personality aura about like you just you let life roll as it goes. <laughs> well, you can only control what you can control. The rest <laughs> is you know why worry about it. But exactly yeah. right. Yeah, usually just keep chipping away at it. Something like <laughs> And so, if you guys don't know Rodney Whaley, the reason I like his personality so much is because it works so well whenever he is emceeing for all of the Medicine Park events and the festivals that they have each year. Um, how did you get started into that? Uh, I started, I don't know, six or seven years ago when, when Dwight Cup was doing all these, and I just started helping out. I was here anyway. I helped carry mic stands. At, at some time, we had, um, we had acts all over town during the days, and small ones here and there. Yes. And so sometimes they would need more mic stands or a cable or for this next act or something. And so just having another uh, a hand, a grip, yeah. to do that kind of stuff. Um, he and I had already been good friends, and I knew the sound man pretty good. And it worked out well, and I, I liked being a part of it. There was a year whenever... Um, when, when Dwight was the coordinator for all this, that because of his work schedule, wasn't going to be able to be at one of his festivals. Wow. And um, he had everything all set up, lined up. He said, Rodney, will you just <laughs> get up and introduce the bands? Just get up and introduce the bands. And I was like, well, I guess I can do that. Yeah. And um, I, don't, I don't remember what happened after that. The, ne <laughs> the next thing you know, they're like, you're MC in every single one of them. Um, I've had a lot of fun, yes. a lot of fun doing it. Um, I learned real quick, don't think about what I'm going to say, just get up there. You know, <laughs> just say it. Just As long as you know everything, you can you just say enough of it. I forget something every single time. Do you really? Yeah, but no one knows what I forget because I didn't say it. So <laughs> it, it works out really well. I do make myself some cheat sheets and what have you. So, uh. um, And, and uh, like I said, Dwight has always done an amazing job putting all this together and yes. stuff. And he got to the point in his life where he was ready to travel and do some other things. And he said, it's, you know, I've done my part. It's time to step down and let Aww. somebody else do it. So he pulled me aside and he said, man, if you want this, it's yours. And I was like, I uh, don't know if I do or not. <laughs> um, I'm really glad I did. He stayed on as a consultant. Everybody has given me everything I need yeah. to make it happen. Um, of course, the, the COVID year put a, a, a big time slump on the beginning of festival season last yes. year. We figured out how to do it. Mm -hmm. Everything is always outside. Everybody has their own space to do any, you know, however right. comfortable they need to be. And uh, we take the proper precautions as, as best as we can. Yes. And, and still doing our job. And so the last part of the season went off without a hitch. We had full festivals. We added in a summer concert series. Um, and this year we're going to add in some more smaller events too. That's awesome. Uh, that includes, um, there's going to be some street performers during mm -hmm. the days and some other small music acts at night uh, in addition to our festivals. That way we have more going on throughout the full season. Right. Because there's so many that want to. I mean, I get contact every day by a band or a musician that says, hey, man, how do I get in there? How do I? I'm like, I only have so many spots, you know. <laughs> exactly. And, but I want to because I remember, and you do too. Yes. When we started that as musicians, we'd play for free. Yep. Nervous and just be, and we'd stand back there like, man, 
I don't know how I could, can't even imagine being a part of something oh, like this. Yeah. And the next thing you know, here we are. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's flown by, but it's it's been a, it's been a, it's been a wild ride. It really has, and I love the fact that Medicine Park has been a start for so many local performers like mm -hmm. you and I. You know, like East Cash Creek, um, CC Revenue. Yep. Uh, they they're great. I mean, so many other bands that just like they got their start from this area. Yep. Yep, and there's so many also you can come. You'll see some local ones. You'll see some people starting out, and then you'll also see somebody from California or England or, or you know, all over the, the country and the world. We've had people, the really big acts come in here. I did not know absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. So, um, yeah, check out the festivals. You can go to Medicine Park events on Facebook, medicinepark.com. Uh -huh and see when our big festivals are yes uh and, and uh, any other events too so the, a lot of events here in town are put on by businesses or individuals yes as well not just see i, I work for the medicine park economic development authority okay we do the big festivals and events but like this today the polar plunge this is sponsored by the park tavern really this, yes, this yes yes started like 23 years ago um and the park tavern has always been the one putting this on Gotcha. So we just give them any resources we have and try to help out okay. with it as well. So uh, we, we always try to share and, and uh, aid in other, everybody else's, even small, big, whatever events as well. So That is yeah. so awesome. And if you guys, I mean, please go on Medicine Park's website, on their Facebook page, so you can keep up with all the festivals, all the events going on, because it's not just festivals. I mean, they got the Fool's Dozen mountain bike race uh, yep. coming up very soon. Yep. Uh, That's I think. Uh, April 9th, 10th, and 11th. Yes. I believe. And we'll have we'll have live music for that. we got a band coming out of Texas oh. for that as well, and, and, and other parties. And there's, there's always a lot that goes on. Yes with these you're not just watching a mountain bike race yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah it's um, fun it's parade. just like it's just like this too where it's not just you're just watching people jump into water i mean right, we, right. It, it really feels like it's a big deal especially when people you know when they do the costumes they dress mm. up um i saw somebody on on youtube before doing it in theme of the people who were the healthcare workers oh yeah yes yeah. yes essential yes. workers and yeah Awesome. That is, yeah, it is yes. neat. And a lot of groups will come out and they'll dress the, you know, like like each other and then supporting you know their cause or their group with their T-shirts or what have you. Gotcha. And, and uh, I met a lot that have come in Thursday and Friday. Yeah. And gotten you know hotels or or cabins here in town, Airbnbs, and just been staying all weekend. Awesome. There's, there's other festivities and just everybody's in a is in a festive mood. So yeah. There really doesn't have to be anything going on. <laughs> exactly. It's going to happen anyway. Exactly. And hopefully it's going to happen right here on Oklahoma mm -hmm. Life TV. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider. Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. It's a calling that's kept us free. It's a place to belong. What's the calling? It's doing a job that makes a difference. Serving your community and your country. It's part-time service, where the impact is full-time. What's your calling? Air Force Reserve. Well, that's a picture of what cold looks like when you're having to bounce up and down <laughs> to kind of keep the blood flowing as... Uh, Danny, uh, we've talked to a lot of individuals that were hoping to get uh, one of our first timers, you know, if we were yeah. going to be able to 
get somebody that's never jumped before. Oh, but yeah. But we want to take some of the shots over here that kind of taking a look at uh, this is really a packed place. When we got here, and there's the mayor in the, and you can see in the golf cart. We just <laughs> yes. uh, talked with her. Right past there is a sea of people up, up on top of the curb, you know, going to towards the uh, old plantation. Uh-huh. And uh, you, I think you mentioned it, but um, it started off as a really cold, <laughs> rainy type morning. Oh, yeah. And I was really wondering, I said, boy, this is going to maybe cut down on their numbers. You know, oh, you, it you, doesn't look like it. <laughs> no. Uh, well, and, and then and then it broke a little bit. The sunshine came out, a little bit of sunshine for a, a while. Yeah. And then, and then that went away. And, you and, know, I keep seeing, like, people with dogs all over the place. That's one of my favorite things about it, too, is people are not just bringing the kids with two legs, but the kids with four legs, too. Yeah, we want to be able to make this a family event, and you know that's that's really what it's all about too. Is uh, you know a festive event such as this, and and you know it's interesting the weather. Like she said, she can get stuff that are in the fifties and sixties, yeah. you know, seventies at times, you know, and and, <laughs> and that's part of Oklahoma. You know, Oklahoma. Uh, you know, if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute. That's still <laughs> the expression that's been given for a long time ago, and and so basically we want to be able to. Um, you know, experience this in any which way. We want to thank our fine sponsors to make this possible. We'll start off with our title sponsors. We had a, a great talk with Extreme Washing, and he brought his daughter in with Enhancing <laughs> yes. Community Curb Appeal, one property at a time, also offering washing for oil companies, belly dump trucks, over-the-road trucks, just to name a few. They travel from Lawton to Edmond and all the surrounding areas. The Park Tavern. Of course, that is where the parade starts, and this is really their event. Park Tavern, the one and only, offering live and local music Thursdays through Sundays, an indoor and outdoor venue, and the place to make memories. And then we also, and I was hoping she would just stick around for a little bit, but she yeah. says, too cold for her to go into the plunge anyway. <laughs> nice ice baby, adult beverages to go. Your own frozen flavored delight. Over 45 flavors of 21 different types of drinks, to be exact. Also a hot spot for unique local events. And Hillary Communications, just having their headquarters just right out, so right down the street from here yes. hillary communications with over 60 years of experience providing high speed internet throughout oklahoma and texas and this would not be possible if it wasn't for the fine sponsors that we have uh, actually contacted and with so great support from the hop and sack on highway 49 for all your easy convenience needs uh, trivets uh, right there in elgin with catfish uh, all you can eat catfish fridays redbone indian tacos they have been actually they have their food truck here our food is bad to the bone morrison lawn care their work speaks for itself base camp with part of the mayor with yes. kayaks trail bikes canoe rentals when you're out here to make a summer experience native smoke barbecue food truck catering with special orders to go power equipment four wheelers and lawn care latanka paint and body and then also we want to thank uh woven by grace uh, you are beautiful. Honey and Sage Company, Medicine Parks Remedy for Stress, Boom Paws Burgers in, El in Elgin, home of the Butch Husky Burger, Danny Cooper, All-State Agent in Elgin, All-America Bank, Medicine Park for all your banking needs, Ann's Country Kitchen. When you're out by uh, Medicine Park or by the Wichita Mountains, you're always going to stop by Ann's, oh, especially yes homemade pies yes. homemade and homemade cooking and pies at its finest nacho mama's mexican grill our food is nacho mama's and southwest vet clinic that's right up the street now with uh, ultrasound services so oh yeah going to be a I, I can't convince you to go. I mean, uh, no. you know, I, I, I brought oh, no. I brought a special little Danny only outfit <laughs> that if she wanted to change into it and kind of take the plunge, you can see. Now, now there is something that I've noticed. Okay, well, what are you noticing? Age. What do you I, I don't. Mean? Well, outside of Santa, who he says he's one of the oldest plungers, and I'm <laughs> waiting for him. He's going to be all decked out. Yeah. But I can see there is a lot of young inspired folks. Oh. Yeah. To be a part of this. This is off. And what do they call this launching pad right here? What are they, I you know, think they call it the island. Um, that's okay, what I've island. been hearing that it's called now, anyways. Santa gave some good advice. He said, basically, when you go out, you just ba basically go out. forward yes. out. Don't just go drop right down, down you know, <laughs> because there's going to be some people behind you. So, yes. you know, that's the opportunity right there. So. And when you look at that pile of people right there, that's not even the people that are in the parade that's coming down from the park yeah. tavern. And, you know, there are so many people down there. They're down there getting hyped up. They're getting warmed up because they know it's going to be cold when they jump in. Well. And I guarantee there's a ton of people that are going to come down, hopefully dressed in costumes. And um, I think I already seen a couple of costumes out here just at the group that's coming well, we to watch. Well, we had, we had 
some that I was going to get captured. Uh, she was all decked out in makeup. You know, these are the people that are sitting rock side on the opposite side, you know. And, and I don't know about our little visiting Canadian geese. Uh, <laughs> they are down here, as you can kind of see, floating on the water. And, uh, well, I guess it's not too I, I cold think, for them. Well, I know it's not. <laughs> they're insulated for it. But I, I'm sure when someone first takes the plunge, they're, they're going to mosey on out of here. Uh, they were talking some... <laughs> some uh, fishermen that were here earlier and they didn't quite know what was going to go on and we oh, said no. they said well no they just said that there would be a lot of people here about three to four hundred people and i'd say that they've got that and then some uh <laughs> that's going to be a part of this and they said fishing afterwards is not going to be any good at all you, no. you've stirred up everything so <laughs> you know everything uh, that goes around uh, this corner so we're, we're glad to be a part of this oklahoma life tv and as we, we mentioned that uh, this is a start of streaming events when you can't be in person yes. it's an sbex thing to experience it to connect to it it's live oh, we got someone that's crossing that don't don't fall in you can see him on the top oh. of the screen he's <laughs> he's kind of tiptoeing over he wants to go on the other side oh, somebody and else he's got some pink, pink shorts and okay i'm gonna <laughs> kind of get that little shot there of but yeah if you if you're looking to live stream an event uh, make sure you contact danny you can get on, on our website uh, yes. and then also oklahoma life tv uh, which is also connected to the oklahoma sports network on from osn enterprises and that's where you can download us on roku amazon fire and apple tv you can watch from your tv you can watch from your phone on the go at o oklahoma life tv and so i guess we're just kind of waiting for uh, i uh, i thought the parade would give us a little bit of commotion you know i mean yeah, that's going to be something that we're going to be able to get that thing going so right so we've got the uh, we're in action live uh, for medicine park and we'll be back with one more uh, break and then we'll be back uh, to hopefully get the, the big plunge we don't want to miss that that's coming up next here on the oklahoma sports network and oklahomalife.tv From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home, or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local... Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. When you suffered an injury or medical emergency, all you want is your life back. Comanche County Memorial Hospital, working in partnership with Jim Thorpe Rehabilitation, is proud to be the gold standard of care for inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation in Southwest Oklahoma. Our caring team of experts are there for you literally every step of the way to help you gain independence and achieve your goals. When the unexpected happens, trust Jim Thorpe Rehabilitation at CCMH. Bridges and Buckner Dentistry at 1802 Northwest 52nd Street has over 32 years of combined experience. They serve Southwest Oklahoma for implant placement and final restorations using guided surgery and CEREC technology. This enables them to do same day crowns in the office. Call to set up your appointment today or visit them online at bridgesandbucknerdentistry.com.
Hello and welcome back to Oklahoma Life TV. I'm Danny Carson and with me I have a first time jumper from Muskogee. We, went, we mentioned him earlier and we finally found him. So, <laughs> um, Jace is it? Mm -hmm. Jay. Okay, Jace, got it. So, are you excited? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell me what you're feeling right now. I kind of just like kind of want to hurry up and do it and like not <laughs> really think about it. Yeah? I just kind of like just... That's, you like take the plunge and don't look at it. It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, you're, you're not supposed to think about it. There's yeah. no thinking involved in this. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so I'm, are you doing this for a theme? Do you have, like, you just saw it and you were like, that looks cool. I want to yeah, try it. Yeah, I just wanted to try it. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're here with your parents? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And did you bring along anybody else? No, just my parents. And okay. all the way from Muskogee, huh? Mm -hmm. So you saw this in the calendar. And how did you convince your parents to be able to load you up and take you down for this? <laughs> Insanity. Well... <laughs> <laughs> You just were are you just like are you an only child? Uh, no, I have a I have a brother and a sister. Okay, all right, because I didn't know if you were going to get all of your wishes come true at the <laughs> demand, but you know your parents did trek you down. In fact, uh, I I don't think you could convince your dad. He's right around the corner, but y your dad didn't want to go. Right. <laughs> so it's no. just you? Yeah, it's just me. M my mom's not going to go with you either, huh? Oh, uh -oh. here it comes. All right, we'll okay, let I you think. go. This is your chance to go, man. You're I'm. <laughs> I'm giving you my kudos, man, because you're braver than I am. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Well, there was a little bit of a, a of a commotion. I know the clock says it's a little after two, mm -hmm. and then we'll kind of, uh, you know, kind of get get this thing underway. But uh, the goose, the geese, <laughs> they're making a little too. bit of a little bit of talk in there, and they get a little bit of a crowd, a little bit of an audience. And Rodney mentioned, you know, he's oh, like, it, it's going to happen one way or another, even if it doesn't start exactly at two. Um, so now. Mr. Eric's going to turn that camera yeah, so you guys can see all the to, action happening. Because that's what it's all about. You know, right. I mean, you don't want to see my ugly mug. So, you know, <laughs> just I, I have a face for radio and I resemble that. So, you know, so you can kind of. It looks. I don't want to miss like. everybody's. Oh. We got a, some someone here in uh, what do you call it? Uh, horns, a little oh, like yeah, a Vikings, yeah, Vikings, Vikings yes. helmet there. No, they they got the parade coming down. It's uh, right now. It's so packed that we can't actually see right yeah. across where we where had well intentions out. to get a clips of the parade, but the parade cannot be seen because of the fact that um, you There's know just it's so like many people. It just just it is it is what it is. So right. it's it's no problem. <laughs> It's okay. Oh well. Oh, well, okay. These guys are Mr. So Mr. Sweet. Erickson is going to make make it where we're going to be able to try to get a shot down here. This is right through the mayor's. This just shows you the crowd that came here in Medicine Park. Hats off, you know. With I know COVID and all the other concerns that you you've got going on, but you know you can kind of see the sea of people, and uh, and all of the people that are brave enough to be a part of the. Oh, here's some <laughs> our of our parade marchers that are in costume. Yes, they oh, got a couple Santa. of good ones. Oh, that's Santa. Santa is there. leading the way. We've got a whole bunch. <laughs> And, you know, he says that, you know, the camaraderie that is made. and uh, Oh, he's giving announcements now for everybody to do certain things. Yeah. Oh, well. Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you kind of lose, <laughs> you lose all of the uh, announcement maker. You almost have to have a, a, a PA microphone. system. Yeah. yeah, yeah, to be able to do that. <laughs> so we're, we're glad that we're up in a bird's eye view of where this is going to take place off the launching pad yes. it, the pad is getting fuller as the people from the parade are coming and and we'll try to get the expressions we had our, our young man from muskogee drive down here to be a part of this polar plunge yes. 23rd annual polar plunge here at medicine park and we're so glad to have brought it to you and what's so cool is you can actually, in some of the water, because it's so still right now, you can actually see some of the fish that pop up and they move around. I highly doubt we're going to be seeing that anytime after uh, everybody takes that leap in there. See our title sponsors as they roll across the screen up uh, up in the upper right hand co corner and you know we want to start off with the park tavern because that's where the parade started from yes. but then we also have uh, extreme power washing we also have nice ice baby and hillary communications oh they're fixing to take the jump they actually are taking a drone right now around to catch everybody's like hey this is the 23rd this is medicine is park if I can get, there is someone that's got an inflatable dinosaur, and hopefully I'll get this. I mean, there is too much action. You can see as the the launching pad is filling up with folks, and and when they say one, two, three, I don't even know who does the 
The command is uh, Charlie. Is Santa our Charlie. young man from Edmond? Uh, is is he in the front? In the green shorts? Is he right there in the front with a green checker? Green? Uh, I don't know. I, I think have... I think that is the young man that is from Edmond that are uh, from Muskogee. I mean. That we just interviewed, I think he's right there in the front. Oh, he is. The front I, row. I thought you were talking about the okay. other kid on the stairs. <laughs> no, no. Well, and you, oh, and then uh, if I can get through the. There's some people dancing, <laughs> dancing on the the bridge, going to it. That's so cool, man. The effort people put into their costumes is awesome. It's artistic. It's beautiful. Oh. There is our princess. <laughs> She's waving, I don't know, to the skies. Uh, you know, these are, I, I got a little shot between the tree that they're over on the bridge, but I don't want to miss the plunge when we get to the point because I think the, the anticipation is there that everybody was ready, ready for launch. Yeah. I just don't know who, who says three, two, one, go. Well, Santa Charlie is right now, they're looking at that drone that's driving around them. The drone is getting footage of them to use okay. on Medicine Park's Facebook page okay. and their website. All right. So as soon so. as that's done... I guarantee we're going to start seeing some people go in. Well, and what we'd also, also like to do, too, is have the opportunity, maybe get someone to talk to that has taken the plunge and kind of what that experience felt like. Yes, yeah, so especially after people jump, you guys don't go anywhere because we're still going to have more to talk about. Obviously, oh, thank okay. our now sponsors. They're, Here we they go. They got the drone. Oh, they got the, oh there in. it is. There it is. Oh, we got people going off the oh, side of the Oh, my tube. goodness. <laughs> you can already tell they're like nope it's a tidal wave of water <laughs> and they're and they're oh boy oh it's still as so they, many people it's almost like the titanic i mean everybody's <laughs> just plunging in off of the, yep. the ship and they're screaming how cold it is and <laughs> now they're braver than i oh my goodness they say get me to shore get me to shore some people walking in some people diving in i think oh, the oh there's like a uh, yeah that's the uh there they come. Mandalorian, I think, is is what's in the water now. <laughs> kind of a Disney Star Wars thing. Yeah, let me get some faces here with family members that have the towel to say, okay, oh. you don't swim in there long. <laughs> There's some people that haven't really taken the plunge yet. There were some people across the way that have already taken the plunge on their end, and they're waiting Getting for out. a little bit. You can see their, their toned flesh water is yeah. a little bit different. and. And, you There's know, I noticed plungers. they're not going very far. <laughs> they don't jump very far got out our, or our get away. Our pink flamingos that just came in. Oh, there's a couple more that decided <laughs> to take. That guy's got a big cannonball splash. We'll yes. just keep oh, this on here. Go. 23rd annual Polar Plunge. We're glad to bring it to you live here on the Oklahoma Life TV experience. For those who are watching on Facebook and then also Discover Medicine Park Facebook yeah, as well. Yeah, many, Thank many that are watching on that. That you know, this is your favorite place to be at Medicine Park. That's what you what you've liked on their page to yes. to be be a part of it and and, and experience. You. you know, you can. Santa says, and I didn't get to see Santa launch. He must have been on the other side because uh, I wanted to really get a, a visual of him. But I think he's no. I think you got him right at the very beginning. Okay, he was yep. in the very beginning. Yeah, right. because he was the first to take the jump. In. He's right there next to that. That white, uh, I don't know what those are called, but they come up out of the water. He's actually on the other side of that pink flamingo. He's okay. still in the water. Oh, That's Santa crazy. is still in the water. <laughs> Santa's swimming. I'm going to go, you know, this, okay, this. He knows This what is he's the man doing. for 23 years yes. have, has, has plunged his way in, and he has stayed in there. <laughs> he's still Someone in? Someone lost their flamingo. There's the Santa hat. You can see that. There's our Santa. <laughs> I guess there are still people that they, they I guess they turned around. They were like, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> and so Santa's, oh, what is he doing? Is he telling them no more? I am not. Oh. <laughs> oh waving. Everybody is going number one. <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of clothed people that have come up behind and said, okay, I just want to get a little closer view and. Oh, no, I do not that? jump. <laughs> one, of our, one of our guests here is asking oh. me why I didn't jump. Oh, I, no. I said, uh, you know, we, we can get you. I got a towel. I got everything ready for you. you know, I was really thought you were going to take the plunge. No, I am not that brave. I'm not as brave as any of these people that just did it out there. I mean, man, that takes some guts. Well, and, you know, our, our guy in the in the Vikings, he, he's still in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I like that some people, they, they got their masks on because they're feeling, you know, they want to make sure they do their social distancing and their um, their health precautions. So that's awesome that we got people out here doing exactly that. Well, and you got photographers here. You got people yes. that are just kind of uh, 
there for moral support. They got a towel. Oh, I think we they got, got a helicopter, a, are, too. Are, 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 they say, are you insane? Here, here, look at this guy's yeah. body tone of color. Oh, it's wow. It's a little bit of red, red that comes out of that. Yeah. Well, I guarantee it's all that blood that probably rushes to get you warmed up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you get coaxed in it. You, you decide to do it. You say, you know, this is all what I want to do. <laughs> For those of you who are watching at home and just say, okay, not me, but, you know, that's. Oh, we still got a ton of people over near the Santa shop who are they're just spectators and observing. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of awesome. people full clothed. So I, I take it that <laughs> those are all support staff. They are not here for the plunge itself to go in. Yes. As we're trying to get a wide out shot of, for Medicine Park that is stretched from basically all the way down uh, to the tavern mm -hmm. and uh, all the way to Bath Lake. So. And I do want to I want to take a little time to thank our Medicine Park merchants who helped uh, make this stream possible on the Discover Medicine Park Oklahoma Facebook page. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. We thank all of our sponsors who helped make this whole event happen too. The whole stream. Santa is still in the water, and we're going to get Santa. He's coming out. Oh, finally! But, I mean, he took the plunge, and he said, "I'm going to stay." Man, I mean, well. I will say this, being in, in cold Michigan waters that I'm used to, yeah. you can somewhat get used to the water. I wouldn't say this temperature, <laughs> but yeah. in, in the summertime, your body can get acclimated a little bit without, you know, we don't want anybody with hyperthermia at all because it is a plunge. It's not a swim and, and stay forever. There's our Santa. and, <laughs> and Congratulations, another successful year. And got some people that have still taken the, the plunge and the wading around. You know, some people like to splash it around and, some people like to make a spectacle. You know, and it's smart. You know, you got hats. You got people that they got warmed up on the way in. <laughs> certainly did. Well, Danny, this is a special event. And it is. Uh, you it's can our see first why. one, too. Our first one to cover here yes. on Oklahoma Life TV. And, and we've got other events that we'll be following along the best thing to do is follow us on facebook because if you follow us on facebook you like us on facebook it's an opportunity where you can see where we'll be next who will be visiting next um you know as far as uh, and, and if you have an event coming up we certainly want you to be a part of this i want to be able to get here is a stacked photo of all well, these people here got <laughs> they got their photo taken I think it looks like a family event because it looks like everybody's kind of related to each other. <laughs> Mark uh, pointed out that the sun came out after everybody jumped. I, I noticed that. <laughs> it was cloudy for the longest time. And, uh, you know, we, we've got our Mr. Viking in the water that's uh, kind of next to one of these little pylons. Oh, he's posing for, po Lake, for you know. photos. Yeah, well, I like there it. There you go. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to go run, and I'm going to try and grab somebody who just jumped, maybe get okay. a little of an interview from All them. All right, and we'll take a break and be back right after this on Oklahoma Life TV. Want to take the stress out of your next remodel or building project? Comanche Home Center can deliver all the lumber, supplies, and tools right to you. When you're done, they'll pick up anything you don't use and give you credit towards your next project. Give Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. Here at Carpet One, we have a great selection of carpet, hardwood, vinyl, tile, laminate, and area rocks. With all this, you're sure to find exactly what you want for your home. Come browse our exclusive selection or give Carpet One at Comanche Home Center a call today for a free estimate. When you suffered an injury or medical emergency, all you want is your life back. Comanche County Memorial Hospital, working in partnership with Jim Thorpe Rehabilitation, is proud to be the gold standard of care for inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation in Southwest Oklahoma. Our caring team of experts are there for you literally every step of the way to help you gain independence and achieve your goals. When the unexpected happens, trust Jim Thorpe Rehabilitation at CCMH. Life TV. It's Danny Carson, and I got a few guests with me who just did the plunge. Mind introducing yourselves real fast? I'm Rylan. Okay. I'm Julia. Julia? Awesome. So, first off, why'd you do the plunge? Uh, I got dared to. <laughs> How about you? Same? It just seemed like fun. Oh, that's awesome. 
That's great. And what was uh, what was it like? Tell me what you're feeling now. Oh, I was kind of scared at first to, you know, jump in. And then once you hit the water, it's really not that bad. Really? Like, it was cold at first, but then it's not that cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you guys, were you one of the ones that jumped in and swam out a little bit? Or did you, like, jump in and just get out? We kind of jumped in and kind of little went around a little bit and then got out. That's awesome. Did you guys, uh, some people do it for a cause and they have a theme to when they dress up or anything. Did you guys have that at all? No, we just, like we had tutus. I got you. Hey, you, any kind of costume is <laughs> awesome. I love it. Um, did you guys, you know, is this the first time you've ever done this before? Yeah. Really? Awesome. Who, well, who would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they would do it again. Well, you always got to say, was it crazy enough to do it just once or you're going to go get it again? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who dared you guys to do it, if you mind my asking? My dad. Ah, gotcha. Um, are you going to get him to do it next year? He won't. Uh, well, I guarantee <laughs> if you just grab him like this and just, like, sling him in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I think you guys would have a great time. I won't let you guys get held up from getting warm because I'm sure you're kind of cold right now. But I appreciate you talking with us. Hopefully you follow our stream and follow us on Facebook. I hope the rest of you guys do the same. And I am so excited to see you again. Hopefully you're here next year, too. Okay? Thank you guys. It's Danny Carson and our lovely ladies on Oklahoma Life TV. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home, or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider. Feet. We use them every day. Working, playing, and usually taking them for granted. If your feet hurt, see the professionals at Southwest Foot and Ankle Clinic. They've been serving Southwest Oklahoma for the past 36 years, providing the highest quality care and combining the latest technology with old-fashioned Oklahoma compassion. With three locations to serve you, Lawton, Duncan, and Altus. Call today or visit us online at swokfoot.com. Wow, that was fast, Mark. Your house is sold already? Yep. Seems like I just signed the listing paperwork. Now it's a done deal. I told you that listing with Pam and Barry's team at Remax would cause your house to sell. I know. I should have listened to you earlier. Listed with Pam and Barry on day one. <laughs> Pam and Barry's team has a proven marketing system that will sell your home fast and for top dollar. Call 248-8800. Since 1908, Cameron University has served students from all over the world. With nearly 50 degrees in two-year, four-year, and graduate programs, we have something to inspire you. Health and wellness facilities plus a wide variety of clubs and activities will help you find your perfect fit. Small class sizes allow you to be yourself while discovering your future potential as part of the Aggie family. Come experience the Axe. Enroll today at www.cameron.edu. Hello and welcome back to Oklahoma Life TV. I'm Danny Carson and with me, you guys might actually recognize him because he is the guy who, uh, I, when I searched Medicine Park Polar Plunge on uh, Google, there was a picture, I think, of you with your uh, Viking hat that right. you wore. Yes. Um, so first, it's Mr. David Anderson. Right. All right. Okay. And how many years have you done this? About eight or nine years now. Wow. Yeah. What, what motivates you to do it? Oh, it's just fun. It's something I look forward to every year. It's a challenge. Yeah? Kind of a fun group thing. <laughs> you know. For sure. What, what does your body do when the first time you just jump in it? Does it go into shock? It's a shock, and you want to get out right away. <laughs> but the first couple times I did it, that's what I did. I got up, jumped, and came right out, and then 
after wow. a while. We, we yeah. noticed you stayed around. You were over. We got you zoomed up. You can go back and watch us over there by one of the pylons there. You you stayed in the water as long as Santa <laughs> did. That's my goal is to at least stay as long as Santa. Okay. Really? All right. Well, and he he's looking like he's just enjoying it, and he's waving, and <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of that's an act. It's got to be. <laughs> Is it, is it a competition now to see who stays in the longest? Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotcha. Who got out first then? I didn't even notice. I didn't either. Santa went up first. He, he, I think you beat him this year, didn't you? I stayed in longer than Yeah, because I, th- I thought I saw him go up the ladder. Yep. Wow, that is awesome. Um, so do you do a lot of other events here in Medicine Park too? Uh, I hike the Wichita's a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Do you, I mean, is it pretty... Is it the kind of experience that anybody can come out do? I'll put it that way. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Awesome. And so as far as compared this year to other years that you've done it, what, I mean, was it better than most years? Was it different in any way? It was a little colder this year, I think. Really? Yeah. Wow. Were you, uh, you know, the mayor talked about there are times that they had to break the ice. Were you ever, in all those six years, did they have to break the ice for you to do it? Not yet, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, not yet, huh? <laughs> well, hopefully that won't be any time soon because, I don't know, it looked kind of nice enough to jump in. Have you ever convinced anybody who hasn't done it before and you were like, hey, why don't you just do it? Nope. No, not yet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Let me ask you, what is the Viking theme? Where, where did you come up with that? Oh, I just thought it would go good with the cold water and the, the cold weather and the polar plunge. Yeah. You don't have any Viking in you? You don't have any, uh, you didn't do any... Uh, Ancestry.com to find out you're a, once a, vi- a Viking throughout the family heritage at all? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> Just Viking in spirit, huh? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, do you plan on coming back next year? Hopefully that's a yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Make it seven, yeah. Uh, that would be awesome. And do you have any other advice for anybody who wants to come out next year? No, come on out and have fun. Yes, it's that's great. the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been David and I on Oklahoma Life TV. From Medicine Park to Elgin to Chickasha, communities big and small thrive on the ability to connect. Whether out in the country, shopping downtown, at home, or work, communication is the cornerstone of our lives, allowing us to go from point A to point B in the blink of an eye. It's the common thread linking our lives together. You need a partner that will stay on top of technological changes while providing services that exceed the common standard. Our desire every day is to improve and expand the way you connect. We're Hillary Communications, your local service provider. Welcome back to Oklahoma Life TV. I know you can't see me, but I'm still here. I'm Danny Carson. We're going to thank our very special sponsors who helped make this whole stream possible. Well, nice ice baby uh, adult beverages to go. Uh, what did she give you? She gave you. A, she told us what the flavor was she uh, gave you. Oh, you know, I honestly can't even pronounce them. Chew them in the bag. <laughs> adult beverages to go. Your own frozen flavored delight. Over 45 uh, flavors of 21 different types of drinks to be exact. Also a hot spot for unique local events. So uh, maybe check them out. You're, you're next next outing also the park tavern that's where it also uh, starts each and every uh, every year the one and only offering live entertainment uh, for music thursdays through sundays indoor and outdoor venue and the place to make your special memories also extreme pressure washing enhancing community curb appeal one property at a time also offering washing for oil companies belly dump trucks over the road trucks just to name a few they travel from lawton to edmond and all the surrounding areas and hillary communications hillary communications just uh, having their corporate office just being built on the way out to Medicine Park right off the highway with over 60 years of experience providing high-speed internet throughout Oklahoma and Texas. And we couldn't have this broadcast possible if it weren't for the fine sponsors like Hop and Sack on Highway 49 for all your convenience needs. Stop and go and make it quick. Trivets, Catfish Fridays, Redbone Indian Tacos. They've got a food truck uh, right down the road uh, for this uh, appearance today. Morrison Lawn Care Base Camp. Talk to the mayor that's got uh, that venture with kayaks, trail biking, canoe rentals, and more. Native Smoke Barbecue, food trucks, catering, and special orders, power equipment, four-wheelers, and lawn care. Latanka Paint and Body, we help with uh, deductibles as well. 
And then Woven by Grace. Uh, that is, I was very intrigued by by Woven by Grace. You are beautiful. Yes. Honey and Sage Company, Medicine Parks, Remedy for Stress. Boom Paws out of Elgin, home of the Butch Husky Burger and the famous Boom Paw Burger. Danny Cooper, Allstate agent in Elgin. Give them for a call for a free quote today. All-America Bank, Medicine Park for all your banking needs. Ann's Country Kitchen, home cooking and pies at its finest. Nachos Mama's, Mexican Grill, our food is Nacho Mama's. And Southwest Vet, now with laser and and ultrasound uh, services as well. Yes, for so sure. So you want to clear out a crowd, everybody jump in, <laughs> and then you say, you got to get out because it's that cold. And, and our Viking said it best because, you know, basically he said, um, you know, you've got to have an opportunity to, to do this. You jump in, you stay for a little bit, and then it's, you got to get out, you know. Yeah. Don't worry, you know, I, we don't have any hypothermia setting in, you know, so. Exactly. Got to be safe. Hey, I also want to say that, uh, you know, we want to be able to do more of these. And if you have an idea for us to be able to stream a live event that we do not know about, please tell us, contact yes. us, say, Danny, hey, we'd like for you to come out and be a part of whatever it is. And please. so we, we yes. can contact us that way uh, on, on our website, also at Facebook. That's the best way that you can connect us on Facebook, yes. uh, you know, because that way, if you like us, you can share, you can find out what's the latest activity that we're We want this to be fun because Oklahoma Life TV yeah it's not only telling the stories of Okies in Oklahoma Life but it's telling your story and that's what yes. it's all about we want to hear Absolutely. your story and and before we do head out we did stream this event on the Discover Medicine Park Facebook page yes as thank well. you so much yes thank you to the Medicine Park merchants they help make that stream possible without them or Gary Gregory that couldn't have happened and I think it couldn't have been more of a success without them yeah, so we want to thank the Medicine Park merchants to make it a part. You know, a, a lot of times for those of us who live close by, we take the Wichita Mountains for granted, Medicine Park, just because it's here yes. or you've been here. Or maybe you just take them to the old plantation just because you got family or relatives coming in. But right. you know, there is so much to do out here, and they give you an opportunity, and it's just a stone's throw away if you are in southwest Oklahoma. So part of Oklahoma Life TV, our yes. first first inaugural live <laughs> event is yes. the 23rd annual Pol Polar Plunge here at Medicine Park. We'll never forget it because it was a fun time and everybody enjoyed themselves. It's quick and easy and, and now they're having fun going back up to the tavern or some people say let's get something to eat and, <laughs> and let's make a day of it. Absolutely and I really appreciate anybody who's listening to this stream um, who came up and talked with us. We got some of the jumpers who did it after and before um, to tell us about their experiences and I really want to thank them too. Shout out to all you guys uh, for talking with us. And this has been one of the, the best experiences that I've had. I'm Danny Carson on Oklahoma Life TV.